Hello, humanity. What's up? How you doing? It's your host, Giovanni DeVicente, a.k.a. JD Worldwide, a.k.a. etc., etc. I can get into that, but let's get into the show. This is my podcast, unnamed. I don't know what to call it right now, but pretty much this is in demo mode. This in beta stage, you know, just to get my feet wet. Are my lips wet, tongue, you know, not to be sexual. If you have a dirty mind, don't go that way because this is intellectual talk. And, you know, we might get into worldly things. We might get into all types of things, out of this world things in space. Or it might be just grounded. We might be with the vibes. It's all over the place with this podcast. Maybe it's going to be called All Over the Place. I don't know yet. The All Over the Place podcast. I don't know, because in the future, I feel like I'm going to have a format. So let's not call it that. But, you know, okay, pretty much last time what I did was I had a list of headlines that I saw were uh, interesting from my aggregate source through the month of February or January. Sorry. Um, And I picked them out randomly. I didn't go into it, you know. Y'all should do your own research. People should do their own research, critically thinking, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, because that's what it's all about. You can't just listen to the next man, the next news source, and take it verbatim and just take it so literal. You have to go out there, see the mountains, breathe the air. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So, I mean, where are we going to start off? Where are we going to start off? There was so much news today. So, let me go for I'm not going to reach for my headlines yet. I'm just going to go from the top of the dome, what's been going on in the world. Uh, the, the battle between the media and Donald Trump still continues. Yes. How long is this going to go on? Probably the rest of his, you know, terms. I don't know. I don't know. He canceled the uh, correspondence dinner, you know, so I mean, you know, I don't, I'm going to put this out there. I know there's, I mean, in the world... There's good and bad people, but I don't trust politicians or the media. They have an agenda, and who knows? Maybe Trump is, you know, with the media. I don't know. It's just speculation. I don't. I don't trust. They're too powerful. They have too much power. Like you got to believe in yourself. Look within. Believe in something higher than yourself, other than this world. Like let's do things for the better of men of the humanity like you know what i'm saying a lot of things happened this month you know uh just now what recently happened in the hip-hop world what remy got at uh Nicki minaj that was entertaining that sheether that was funny she she will she cut her deep yeah i don't honestly i don't think she's gonna let's i don't want to talk about that nah because i want to I plan on freestyling, you know, so at any moment this could turn into a hip-hop podcast, so I mean, I don't want to go into that yet, into the hip-hop world yet, because, you know, I love hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, I grew up with it, I've been conditioned already, sorry, it's just, but good hip-hop, anyways, let's get into some of these headlines, you know, oh, movies that came out, I want to see that movie, um, what is that movie that came out? The one about the black guy. Uh, it's like Go Home or something. Get Out. The black guy. And he has a white girlfriend. It's about racial issues, but it's supposed to be funny. It's directed by uh, Peel, Jordan Peel. They say it's really good. I was just curious. I don't know. It looks... Uh, I, saw it, I saw it and I was like, is this a joke? But it was a horror movie. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. You know, still pushing that divide and conquer, but it's all good. It's entertainment, you know, at least, you know, hopefully it has some laughing moments because I like, I love comedy. I love to laugh. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's get into some of the headlines. I don't know why I'm going to do this one first. Uh, oh, this will happen. This was pretty big, though. Yeah, the federal judge halts. President Trump's Muslim ban nationwide. Citizens can resume travel to the U.S. That was crazy. 
Yeah, see this incident, you know, this incident right here. Everybody hates Donald Trump. Not everybody, but, you know, it's like, it's really a divide and conquer going on. I feel like you either love Trump or hate Trump. I'm like, eh. It's like, I don't trust these people. I can't, I don't, I don't know. I do respect that he does what he says. Not a lot of presidents have the balls to do that. He, so it's like, I don't know what to think. You know, I need more information. I'm not inside. He could be trying to do good on the low. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the Muslim, I don't want to get into that. I don't like getting into division. Like, I don't, I don't want Muslim ban. Like, I can agree with some points that he has and, like, some social justice warriors. Like, no, you know, social justice warriors and, you know, the far left, far right. See, I'm, like, moderate. I'm not either one. But I can the thing is with, like, the far, that divide and conquer, they don't really listen to each other. They just, they're so adamant with their beliefs. They kind of tune out one another, which you should, like, you know, listen to the other side what they're saying like that milo he got banned at uc davis because there was writing like you shouldn't riot like you use words you use your intellectual abilities like don't riot if you don't want someone you hear them out you got to hear people out even if you don't like it you don't have to agree with it only reason they should be banned for freedom of speech if they're like rallying for violence he's not milo's not rallying for violence then he came out then he got taken down with the uh the stuff he came out saying like i forgot exactly what he was saying but it has something to do with like pedophilia it was kind of weird at least i didn't agree with it i was like oh, that's weird like you know i don't know whatever he's going down though yeah you can't slide with that nah but he was, you know, he had interesting things to say, you know. But anyways, let me get on to my next delete. I'm trying to, bah! Okay, this is the next one. Heroin use fuels surge of ER visits among California millennials. That's crazy. Millennials are doing heroin? Heroin's in? Like, who knew? Who the fuck is doing heroin? That shit is so dirty to put something in your arm. And millennials, that's my generation. Then they got Generation Z after Generation Y. They say Generation Z is more conservative. I don't know. I'm part of Generation Y. I can speak for myself. I don't feel like I'm a millennial, though. I feel like I have a whole soul. I'm going to separate myself from all, everybody. I'm an individual. You know, that's how I feel. I don't really just follow, like, everything. Like, I don't have, I don't like to follow leaders. I trust in myself. Because I don't, yeah, I don't, the only person I can really trust is me, my family, you know, you know, people that love me, I have to see that love, you know what I'm saying, and we're all human, and I forgive, I forgive, but I'm not about to forget either, nah, I gotta remember, but anyways, anyways, heroin, that's such, so dirty, why the China whites, what else they call it, I don't even know, fuck it. Dang, heroin, opium. Dang, that's crazy. Where they get it from? Over there. What, Afghanistan? Opium fields? Man, who, who wants to do that? That's so, man. What, yeah. That's crazy. I don't know. I'm just going to move on. I didn't read any of these articles. I've been really trying to focus on passing like I do not want to fail like I'm really trying to pass and I'm trying to you know just balance this work family like it's so much even like I feel like want to do music and I'm like dang I gotta have to do that you know it's just man life is I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get situated though man Everything's going to be on track. Don't worry about me. I'm handling mine. What you doing with your life? Let's let's go out there and do something productive. Let's go out there, inspire people, help people, spread that love. Let's let it go around and come back like a circle, like a 360. Let's do that. Yeah, you get me? I mean, 
I'm not going to rhyme. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. Heroin. That's so dirty. Ugh. Like, come on. What happened to just weed? Do you believe weed is a gateway drug? Some people might believe so. Some people, I don't think weed is a gateway drug. I never did heroin. I'm not going to get into me, though. I don't want It's like, oh, you're revealing stuff about, I only, it's not about me. This pod, well, this podcast is about me, but it's not about my life. I'm not going to put my life on Fresh Street, unless I'm getting paid. If I'm getting paid, it's like, all right, fuck it. I'll, I'll write a tell all of like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. If I'm getting paid for it, I got to get something in return. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is with me. It's a balance. You know, I got to get something. You know, I don't like people being nosy, you know, like picking and prying. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about. There's so much more to talk about. Why you got to be nosy? They say, what, like rich people, they don't care about like local things or like, you know, what is the saying? It's like rich people, they... They think, like, bigger than, like, what's going on in the neighborhood, who's doing this. Like, who has time for that gossip bullshit when you can be focused on other bigger things? You know what I'm saying? But that's where my head is at. I'm not really going to. Sometimes it is, like, you know, interesting. Like, oh, okay, good to know. And that's also, like, you can't really take somebody's word if they talk about another person. And that just signifies they're going to talk about you as well. You got to get your own perspective. You meet the person. Don't just, like, say, oh, I don't fuck with this guy because he said something bad about him. You don't know what's going on between them. It's just, you know, you got to get to see for yourself. You know, don't let somebody's reputation, you know, precede them in a bad way all the time or a good way, you know. Somebody might have the best reputation and be an a-hole to you. You never know. It's just, you know, people. People are interesting. People are funny. You know, <laughs> this is a, uh, okay, this next uh, headline survey. This is from USA Today. Sleeping together before a first date is A-OK, but crack phones are a put off. Okay, so it's a turn off to have a crack phone, but it's okay to fuck on a first date. What the fuck? That is just like, come on. At least, are you wearing protection? Are they are they wearing protection? What what is it? Let me just let me see this real quick. I gotta read a little bit. I believe I skimmed through this article before. Thirty four percent of singles have had sex before a first date, and millennials are forty eight percent more likely to have sex before a first date than all other generations of singles, according to the annual Singles in America survey. Funded by Dallas-based dating service Match and conducted by Research Now. Man, they some slut. We're some sluts out here. Why do we got to be sluts? I don't want to be a slut. I mean, why? I don't know. I feel like people are messy. Like I don't want to be involved with mess. It's just I'm gonna keep my life simpler and have one person in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like I I don't need like to be. A player, you know what I'm saying? Why well, play the game? You know, you might lose. I don't, I won't lose. I will not lose. I'm always win in life. I win. I'm winning right now by doing this. This is so easy. I'm talking. I'm talking. Watch, man. My voice is going to be around the world. It's JD world. Why, nigga? I don't know. <laughs> I just want to say that. I don't know. But okay. Moving on. Okay. This is going to move on. So you want to look that up if that was more interesting. I think uh, last time I didn't put the links up that I had in my other video. I'm going to have to do that with this video. Yeah, so I'm going to have a podcast. And this is videotape live. At this moment, it's live. It's not going to be live once on YouTube. But, yeah, I could do, like, Instagram live. Man tell you i already got plans my stuff is gonna be bigger you know what i'm saying i'm already learning journalism class shout out to my people in journalism you know what i'm saying let's get it let's have these facts and state them and introduce them to the public exclusives i'm doing interviews been doing interviews since uh like 2013 shout out to peter joseph you know what i'm saying zeitgeist documentary um, creator, you know, 
it's zeitgeist was like the first thing that kind of woke me up that was like what 2007 2008 it was like early i think when it first whenever it first came out i seen that i'm like oh and i wasn't tripping off it i was like this this kind of makes sense you know it was broken down in three parts yeah but i haven't kept up with the rest of the series but like you know it's always good to have alternative, you know, perspectives, alternative facts. <laughs> That's crazy. The whole war, the media war, because, you know, you got to admit, like, mainstream media is like propaganda, like state propaganda. You know what I'm saying? It's very biased, you know. It is. It is very biased. You can tell, like... And they don't tell you everything. Like, you really have to do your own research. That's why it's good to look at other things. Like, don't just shut it out of your mind. Like, no, you really have to do your own research, critically think, and use your intuition. You know, this reality is crazy. Reality is not what it seems, man. People think life is simple. No. Life is not simple. Well, that's I guess it's your choice if you want to. It's life is what you make it. So... You know what I'm saying? Oh, here's an article. That's headline. And this is from Vocative, V-O-C-A-T-I-V dot com. I never heard of that. I don't know. Anyways, prenup for sex tapes could save you from revenge porn. So I guess this is like a contract type of deal. Kind of like, let me say... Filming a sex tape felt like an exercise in evidence. Let me see. A new app is promising to change that. Through that now available through the App Store allows you uh, allows users to film, encrypt, and keep under digital lock and key their most intimate moments. You know the thing. People are so sexual. I mean, that's how we make other humans. Sex sales. It's like when you even hear sex, it's just like it triggers something in your brain. And like, oh, sex. Yes, that's good. I like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into this. What I will say is like, why? Why? If you don't want your business out there, don't tape your, your shit. Don't take pictures and send it to people because i I feel like it once you send it to somebody it's theirs that's your gift to them and they could do whatever they want to it so let's why don't we just stop doing that you know what i'm saying wouldn't it be better if you like all this shit is like i don't know it's a tease like wouldn't you rather see it in person you know what i'm saying sexting like i'd rather see that shit in person let me see old titties now right now you know what I'm saying? Fuck a picture. You know what I'm saying? All this digital shit. All this fucking digital shit. Hey, you shouldn't... Yeah, I don't think anybody should give up their pictures. But that's that's the trend now. Show a picture of your dick. Show, show a picture of some titty pussy. Send it away. It's gone. It's gone. Better hope it's not on the internet. But there's so much on the internet. It's just like, how are you going to look for your specific one? And if they, if somebody does see some genitals, like... Are they going to be like, oh, that's Giovanni's. Like, no, what the fuck? How you know what my dick look like? Like, what the fuck? I can tell by your pubic hair and your mustache. It's, yeah, no, that's ludicrous. That's crazy. So it's just, unless like when girls have their titties, that's why, yeah, you got to zoom in on your genitals. If he's like going like this. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm worried because, you know, I'm not wearing no pants. I don't want, you know, but the camera is pointed this way, so it don't matter. I'm talking to the viewers on YouTube, by the way, because I have the camera on. And I kind of lean, I lean back and I thought about it like, you know, to imitate, you know, somebody taking a picture, a selfie of them, like with the clothes off. But anyways, you know, let's, let's not even, but yeah, you know. Rule of the matter is don't send your shit. I remember I had a chance to do that. I was mad at this girl. 
I was like, man, fuck this bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was mad. You know what you mad? Like, she gonna do me like that? But I was like, nah. I think about karma and stuff. Like, I try not. To, I try to be like the, you know, a good person. You know, I don't want nothing coming back on me. I, don't, I had like all of all dirt on her. I don't remember sending nothing to her. I could have just like, nah, I couldn't do that. Nah. Anyways, see, this is not about me. This is this is not about me. You know. It is kind of. These are my choice headlines. They just stuck out to me like they did. It's interesting. It might not be. I mean, it might not be interesting to some people. Who cares? It's not for you then. Leave. Go somewhere else. Bye bye. Okay. I'm doing me. Doing what I feel like I should be doing. And I feel like talking. Mercury. Yeah. Anyways. Let's get on to the next headline. This is by The Telegraph. This is the headline. Sex or size. 657 reasons why the ultimate workout happens between the sheets. A lot of sexual headlines I don't, in February. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but they came up with a number, 657, because that's the number of muscles in the human body. And... If you're doing it right, you're using all of them, I guess, apparently. So if you have a gym membership, why not skip it, you know, and try the oogie boogie? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I'm just playing. I was just <laughs> joking. No, I'm not. I mean, this is what it says. This is I'm going to move on. Let's, let's move on. It's the telegraph. You can type that in if you want to read that. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to go into that. Let's go on something else. Oh, oh, this dirty motherfucker. Okay, look, 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 look. check this out. <clears throat> this is coming from the Evening Sun, and this is the headline. Hand over area caretaker charged in bed bug death. How do you die from bed bugs? You got to be a dirty motherfucker to have that and just... Are they so many that they're, like, biting you? And you're like, ah, it's an old person, obviously. Because no, like, you know, middle-aged person is going to die from some bed bugs. It's obviously an old person. You know what I'm saying? But somebody actually went to jail over this. Ah, death by death. Death by bed bugs. Just, like, think about that. That's, like, death by bees or spider bites, like. That's crazy. Wow. Happened. Wow, well, it's February. I'm not going to go into this. No, I'm going to move on. So I'm not going to read it. Like, I'm not going to. That's just boring. Like, getting my announcer voice. Last February, West Menheim Township Police entered a home. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I'm not. We can move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Next headline, next headline. Lawmakers eye self-driving cars. Damn. I'm really against the self-driving cars. Are we that lazy? Are we really that lazy? You really want technology to take over that much? Really? No. See, let's get over with this, you know, AI stuff. Why aren't we building ourselves up intellectually? Why aren't we evolving? Why do we have to? And that ties into the next headline. I'll get to that in a minute. But self-driving cars. If anything, here's a better idea. Why don't we have self-driving flying cars? I think that would be a better idea. Some people be in the sky. Some, and then, you know, because I don't trust people in the sky. I think I would trust uh, drones, people in drones in the sky more than actual people. People get drunk. Can you imagine flying cars? People getting drunk and crashing and shit. That'd be the worst fucking shit ever. Like somebody wants to kamikaze, like, fuck my life. Like that, that's horrible. Yeah. If anything, they should they should have automated flying cars. If anything, let's back up with the self-driving cars. Let's not be too lazy. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's not make the trucker's jobs easier. You know what I'm saying? Trucker life. Trucker life is harsh, man. Driving jobs, man. You really got to stay in shape. Most of them motherfuckers' bellies, man. If I'm a, man, I was thinking about being a trucker too. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a hard life though. You never being at home. But I like traveling. I do want to travel all. One day, maybe like retire. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I like. It's not hard. I mean, it, that's subjective. It might be. I didn't try it. I don't know. It. You know, it depends. I. I can't say it's not hard. I'm not gonna say that. It is a hard life. That is a hard life. Being a driver of bus driver, whatever. Man, one time I seen. <laughs> it was so fucked up. I seen a fucking driver. Stop. It was Halloween. Stop. Open the doors. It was a uh, like at the RTD Metro. Was it? Yeah. Stop. Open the doors and got eggs thrown at the motherfucker. Like, damn. He was so mad. He tried to get out of his car and he thought about it. Like, damn, they got away. Like, I was coming back uh, from Long Beach off the Blue Line. I had to take the 105, I believe. It goes on Vernon. Shout out to LA. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was fucked up. I was fucked up, man. I couldn't be a bus driver. It's a school bus driver. Deal with some fucking kids. That would be annoying. Yeah, you, you really got to stay in shape. If you just const- consistently driving, you, you really got to stay in shape. All right. Let's 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 move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Dang, I forgot. Who was that from? I don't even know. All these links should be in the... If they're not, then I have them in my email, and I, I could put them up anytime I want you just have to ask for it I mean come on there's gonna be new headlines this is what the news is about it's all about putting shit in your face like pa 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 you know consistently like ah, there's news story every second you know all over the world I'm assuming I don't know what you know the actual you know rates are you know that but anyways and then Elon Musk just when I was getting off from the you know self-driving cars automated cars drone cars elon musk humans must merge with machines or become irrelevant in ai age fuck that now that gets into the transhumanism ray kurzweil type shit i ain't with that shit there's a movie called transcendence with johnny Depp, and didn't do so well i didn't see it that's how bad it nobody saw it yeah but you know all this like you know fusing with machines you know, nanobots, and just, like, putting your consciousness in machines, like, I ain't with that shit, uh, I seen Black Mirror, and I had an episode about that, it was a pretty good episode, uh, I'm not gonna get into that, yeah, whoever, yeah, if you're really into sci-fi, check out Black Mirror on Netflix, that, that's a pretty interesting show, yeah, um, but anyways, yeah, all this transhumanism, I'm not with that, I'm not with this AI stuff, I, I can't, I can't do that, I, and I guess I'm gonna be irrelevant in the AI age, cause I ain't with that shit, fuck that, I ain't about to be no machine, so, oh, hey, uh, uh, no, fuck that, uh, nah. <laughs> fuck that, um, next headline, U.S. experts soften on DNA editing of human eggs, sperm, embryos, this is from what Reuters yeah I ain't with that too man this is all playing God like all this stuff man power like to edit genes like I'm not with that stuff I'm I'm not gonna be on board I believe in being natural having a natural life this type of thing you know that's just me that's just me we have free will so I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. I don't wanna I don't wanna like mess up the article because I didn't even read it. It's not even a long article. Man. I used to read the article. I had too much read. I gotta do my own homework and shit. It's it's fucking annoying. I am eighty two years old and have libido of a teenager. That's freaking gross. That is hella nasty. So, this is 82-year-old singer-songwriter from New York City. She has a Tinder. It was like, 
I'm not gonna go into this. No, it's a lot of because it's like I'm not gonna do the article justice. I would love to have sex. I'm not giving up hope. <laughs> Does we not get none? Wow, that's crazy. No, we don't want you. Nobody wants you. Come on, get with somebody your own age. New York Post posted that. I'm trying to advertise her. It's like, oh, she's old and she likes to fuck. Come get her. No, that's disgusting. L, L, L. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Biometrics, real time data poised to change dating. San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, this doesn't wow me. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, man. This is, this is, this is messed up. This is like, oh, and they have like a picture of the kid. So I'm like, instantly like, this is fucked up. This is, I'm going to read it to you. Tyler among two killed pregnant woman wounded in triple Chicago shooting. Chicago, come on. Fucking up, man. Get it together. Let's stop killing each other. This is fucked up. Tyler is shot and killed. Ugh. Damn, man. If that was my baby, I would be so fucking mad. Let's stop the violence. Man, let's stop the violence. I don't even... Let's move on. This is depressing. I don't want to depress people. That is hella fucked up, right? That's hella, hella fucked up. Outlawing microchipping humans, not so far-fetched, Nevada, Senator says. This is Las Vegas Review Journal. Yeah, I ain't with that. I'm getting tired. I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking tired. Life is tiring. It's not even that late. I don't even have as much energy. Let's just, I'm going to get into fucking freestyle. I'm going to try to get my energy back up. But I feel like once I get into hip-hop mode, I'm going to stay in hip-hop mode. I'm trying to warm myself up. Sorry if I'm making gibberish noises. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. If I don't forget to put on your makeup. Something cake up. Yes, and get it from Jacob. I got you. Uh, that song was sick. What is that? What is that song? Fuck, what is that song? That song was tight. Wake up. Don't forget to put on a little makeup. Go get some cops, some jewelry from Jacob. Yeah, then you go get your cake up. That should you should get your cake up, then get some, some Jacob. Yeah. Anyways, uh, system of a down. Yeah, that song came out a while ago. That song was tight though. That rock song. Anyways, yeah, it's micro tripping. Uh, my, you know. All this stuff is taking a toll on me, mind, body, and soul. It's, so don't take this as this. That yeah, could be every day. Obviously, I should have done this earlier. But it's just like this is the last day of February. February. This is the last day of February. I should have more days, but it doesn't. I wonder why February only has 28 days. Now, last year, last year was the leap year. So, whatever. It doesn't matter. Fuck it. I'm not tired. I didn't say that. Don't believe me. I was just playing. Ha <laughs> ha. It was a joke. Yes. Anyways, I'm not going to get into this either. It's 30 minutes. I think we're going to cut this one short. Last time it was 45 minutes. And I'm just talking, talking shit, seeing headlines. I'm not doing justice to the headlines at all. It's okay. It's just, if you want to look it up, you can go look it up. You know what I'm saying? If anything really, like, caught your ear, all you have to do is type in what I said, you know, and you can read it for yourself. <laughs> Motherfucker, if you're not literate, shit. What else we got? Uh, ba -ba -ba. It's Trill Gates. Ah, uh, He's set to become the world's first trillionaire. How do you know there's not trillionaires already? Brazers banned in Russia for <laughs> damaging the human psyche. Yeah, people should not be with the porno. That is bad. 
I'm just gonna get into the freestyle. We going in hip hop mode. Fuck it. Damn. Bees populations dwindle. Robot bees may pick up some of the pollination slack. Man, just I'm just watching. I'm just looking at these real quick. The watch that tells pe- boring people when it's time to shut up. That's funny. Best places to live in the U.S. in 2017. What is the best place to live in the U.S.? 25, Omaha, Nebraska. That's the 25th one. Find out on the next episode. Maybe. Uh, This one was crazy. and She's ugly, too. My intestines were out. Dad had to stuff his entrails back into his stomach when his ex-wife disemboweled him after four-hour sex session. This is the son reporting this. This is weird. She's ugly, too. Believe me. I think this was a... Uh, I think this was a Muslim couple, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Not a Muslim couple, but they look, uh, you know. Whatever, fuck it. Oh, he's a... Fuck it. You can look that up if you want to. <laughs> you want to get into that, go ahead. Oh, my God. More crazy headlines. <laughs> German woman decapitated lover with circular saw in bizarre sex game. What the fuck? In Berlin. Wow. The Telegraph reports. Okay. Okay. Let's let's just get into hip-hop mode. Remy Ma versus Nicki Minaj. I don't think Nicki Minaj is going to respond. I don't think she's going to respond at all. I, I think she has too much to lose, honestly. Yeah. She won't risk it. I don't I don't know. They say 48 hours is a good time to respond. What well, today is Tuesday. This dropped Saturday. So, yeah. Let's see what happens. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. If she does come back, she's either going to come up with a banger or it's going to be bad for her. Remember Meek Mill came out with that flop against Drake. That shit went wah, wah. Go back to the drawing board. He did not recover. He's been taking L's ever since. Ever since that. Like, wow. Drake, he really did get body by a fucking singer. Singing nigga. That's crazy. That's crazy. I was never a big fan of Meek Mill, though, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the new rap. I don't know. After what, like? 2008 I stopped really and then like maybe later I start getting into the new rappers a little bit and it's I mean it's cool I I like other genres too I don't like just hip hop you know what I'm saying so whatever and I don't like pop too I don't like the mainstream they try to feed you let's just get into some freestyles I think I'm gonna end it on that note <laughs> just end it on that note ah <sighs> shit i'm i'm not the best freestyler i do it for fun so i'm just trying to have fun be diverse with this podcast i'm trying to have fun you know you don't have to listen to this part so i mean after this i'm gonna wrap it up so if you don't want to hear the freestyles bye (laughs) sayonara motherfucker because this is the freestyle part it's not even friday freestyle friday but it's a freestyle fuck it it's just to have fun (laughs) This is fun. Just imagine me with like more people. This is not just gonna be me in the future. It's gonna be other people. Like I'm gonna be interviewing maybe like a rapper. He's gonna drop some bars. I might drop some bars. You know what I'm saying? You know when you know Rap City Basement. Tiger. No, I'm not Tiger. Tigger. He never had the best bar. I mean, I never. I didn't have cable back then, so I didn't really watch that all the time. But he would always he would always get it on the mic, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't his forte, you know. I feel like I'm an all right freestyle. I gotta be into I gotta be emotionally into it sometimes, you know. Sometimes I would not feel like freestyle, I'll be like, eh. It has to be some a beat that I feel and I'm like in the moment, like and it's gonna be tight. Let's get into it. Fuck it. Stop stop second guessing. I don't I'm not second guessing, I'm just I talk, I'm thinking, I'm just Fuck it. <clears throat> okay. It's JD World. Why? Yeah. Uh. 
Hey, I think I feel it. I think I feel it. Think I feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Uh, look into a mind of JD. Talking and talk, bird person, fuck it. I be me, y'all can't see me. Nah, I better get the lasses. I go appeal to the masses. I'm worldwide, what you think? Don't need no drink. All that we huh, bleed from my soul, yeah, better know that I got the flow and I got the mojo. Hold up. I got more to say. I doing this yesterday, tomorrow, today. Fuck it. I say what I got to say and wrap it all up, and I'm getting my bug. What's up? Come and challenge I don't give a fuck Cause you know I damage I'm a savage When it comes to this rap shit And I don't give a fuck Cause you might clap shit And I just reverse it Call me Neo Pause it and I just go Circular 360 I'm all around the world You can't see me You just miss me And I just kiss The rings of my own I'm on my own dick Fuck it Spitting on this chrome microphone When I spit it Get it how I want it Get lifted Yeah but I'm not blunted Nah I took a little break, fuck it Yeah, cause you know high stakes like the daylight But you know what, it's me saying hey ma Like I'm JD, whatever, fuck it I'm too clever, I just rhyme all the time So I'm so sublime, and you know what's a rhyme Another line, yeah, it's another dime I pull, I don't give a fuck You can't look at me like a fool With the blank face, with the blank stares I don't care, I'm just here right now Not over there until I say so Yes, when I spit, yeah, I might say it so slow Fuck it Two tears in a bucket And she can suck it Uh, Don't need to Oh, switching up That's a weird little switch up I don't want to switch up Fuck that Yeah, see I like rhyming Like Simon says Do what I say Fuck it I'm doing this like an AK spitting Not written And you know it's coming off the dome Leave me alone While I'm in my fucking zone yeah, you know I got the right tone of the skin, the angel man. Yeah, you know what? This is what I do where I can stand, rock any jam with the microphone in hand. I just have the grip like the Hulk, and you know what? I can have bring a bulk muscle. Better know me. I'm on my hustle. I'm on my grind all the time, making that money, feeling so fine, divine, coming to me within. Outside to the space, yes, I begin, then I just end. Infinite when I spit like digits, it keeps coming, keep on going. I don't really like this beat, yeah, it's showing. Uh, but I'm not slowing, can't do that. Don't come around and ask who they better know what my name is, Giovanni DeVicente. Call me Sensei, I'm the teacher like KRS One. Yeah, I bust bright like a sun, and you know what? I never get sun, I'm the father of this style, so unique. Better know I slap your freak on the cheek. I don't give a fuck, I'm so geeked Yeah, cause you know what, I just be on beat Yeah, when I'm rapping Now I'm not trapping, but I'm selling these flows Hold up, wait a minute Pulling these hoes easily by they toe Any, mini money mo, so fucking random Yes, you know I'm rapping in a tandem Hey, and you know it's so tangible What I grip it, you know I just do it Bust from my lips, from my tongue Got these girls sprung Better know I'm number one, yeah, so young And you know what, uh, have fun I'm just doing me, better know I have a clue. Don't you see that I do? Fuck it, uh, taking my shoes. I'm just chilling, illing, killing. Yes, and I don't give a fuck, cause you know blood spilling when I'm on the track. Yeah, bring it right back. Hold on. I guess the beat's over. Let me get in some more shit. I like freestyling. I'm not the best freestyler. Who's the best? It's all opinions with rap, really. So it's like, who the fuck cares? Yeah. Man, this shit was hard. Shout out to Slum Village. Shout out to Ohio. Shout out to David. Uh, Uncle David. Put me on this CD. This shit's hard. Hey. Okay. <coughs> Yo. Uh. Mm. Not from the Midwest, from the West. Better know I'm the best. Uh, got my chest up and proud. I say it loud like James Brown did. So you know what? I just do it like I do. Don't give a fuck. You get kicked with my shoe. If you fuck with me, then I'ma have to fuck with you. Yeah, so true. And I might come out the blue, out the mist, like a gorilla. Shout out to Ice Cube. No diss to the legends. They my brethren. We all one if you look at it that way. As the world revolves around the sun. 
Cause you know what, I bust like a gun when it come from these lips It's a rap, download it as a zip, never crap, nah I spit so unique, uh, and you know I'll always be a rap freak Hop on any beat, I'm so slutty, uh, when I hear it, damn I'm so nutty, I just bust off, uh, cuss off and destroy I don't give a fuck, man, I ain't no boy I'm a grown ass man, where I stand mean, where I sit, fuck it I don't give a shit what you say, it's my day <laughs> It's my year, my millennium, fuck it I'm going forever, ever, and when they play this back in 3,000 years God damn, fuck it, as I'm still chugging beers, uh I'm in my zone, I do with me on point like a cone, yeah You can hear it like the other end of the phone Motherfucker, I'm in my zone, yeah No fucking bone, I'm not a dog, I'm a beast Motherfucker, not from the east Get it correct, get my respect and go Get my check, yeah, I forgot about that Hold up, oh, I was just playing I never forget that I get my chips up, run it back If you owe me, yeah, not from this bitch named what's her name chloe fuck it hey i'm just rhyming on the instrumentals coming all mental better know you might get sentimental if i talk about some sash and depressing but i'm not like that so i'm positive yes no repercussions when i spit it's all bars better know we can work it out like it's fit uh exercise mental but you know what I can't come gentle now nah, i gotta go hard with these bars on number love hard as a spark yeah better know what's in the dark i'm coming bringing the light better know it's a fight if you challenge me motherfucker you gotta bring that my yeah got the right fist i say it loud say it proud like i said before motherfucker don't snow i'm not a bull when i wrap it up i don't give a fuck it's like i'm fucking the game god damn i'm tapping she tapping out huh and you know what i'm about bitch better get that cheese yes and i lift up these spirits you hear it through the speakers and i'm never coming weaker i get older better with wine fuck it so divine when i spit it yeah you know it's not written i could do this like for three days fuck it forever that's what i meant huh then put it on replay two tears in a bucket she just gonna suck it uh <laughs> motherfuck it yeah yeah uh all right y'all i'm gonna peace out much love all across the globe humanity we will rise look into my eyes i'm saying this is life live it however you want to do you and I'm going to go out with that. All right, humanity, peace, love, worldwide. Yeah, yeah, yeah.